Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have here a special guest in my channel. I, I can't believe it. I'm talking with Joe Wilson. Joe Wilson uh, is the... I, I can say that all the tutors on Cambly are in love with Joe Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handsome Hello, man. Man. He has a, uh, he has a... He are a really good talker, I can, I can say that. <laughs> How are you, man? Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Thank you, Paulo, for inviting me to participate in your channel. And thank you for your <laughs> lovely words, but I don't think I'm <laughs> the most favorite student yeah. of the tutors of campus. But I tried. <laughs> I, tried. I tried to be uh, a nice guy and ah. talkative and funny when I was on campus. <laughs> yes, you are really funny. And you are also fun in Portuguese or just in English? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm not playing any character when I'm speaking English or mm -hmm. when I'm on YouTube. That's my, that's my real nature. Uh, uh, I am, yeah, I am an uh, easygoing guy in Portuguese, in English, English <laughs> Spanish, Japanese. <laughs> Oh, By the way, yeah. I don't speak those languages. No, no, English. no, you can speak Spanish. And a little I... bit of Portuguese. <laughs> Spanish, oh, hablo un poquito, pero no mucho. Because I felt that uh, I'm more outgoing when I talk in English, you know? I feel that, oh, I don't know why, but I think I have a different well, personality. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Maybe because, like, when we are speaking English, we are more, like, relaxed, you know? We are very much, like, having fun here and mm -hmm. uh, kind of create this nice environment to, you know, to uh, to speak English in a more, you know, happier way, you know? Like, yeah, it's like when you go to the gym, like, you are totally relaxed or trying to escape from reality and you mm -hmm. are really focused on doing your exercise and <clears throat> at the end of the the exercises at the gym you you are full of endorphin like you know this uh, hormone of pleasure of happiness so <laughs> uh, that's yeah. similar to english oh that's good man that you feel like that in that way when you talk in english because i'm also i think i i i feel something similar because it's really fun to have those conversations, you know, it's amazing. And I'm just like yeah. you, I think, because when you are, when you have a uh, Cambly classes, uh, it's just a real conversation. You don't want to have a class like, oh, I want to talk about grammar, I want to learn grammar. I think you, it's just like me, you like to have a real conversation, right? Without script, you just... Yeah. <laughs> yes, organic, like... You know, I mean, of course, uh, like if someone, you know, has to get involved in the scripted lessons, like grammar, vocabulary, you know, pronunciation, that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but in my situation, when I was studying on Cambly, my, my idea was pretty much talking to tutors as if I were talking to my friends, you know, like mm. at a at a bar or at a pub, a restaurant, stuff like that. So yeah. And sometimes I came up with games, I pick up lines <laughs> <laughs> uh, stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to teach me some pick pick up lines man because I don't know any pick line pick up lines man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are useless, so you cannot address on pickup lines. <laughs> but yeah, awesome, man. And because uh, you need to tell me your secret, because you have a really good English. My secret. My yeah, your secret. <laughs> what do you do, man, to study? I want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, like. Focus on what you want to do, you know, what you want to improve, like mm. hit the books, listen to uh, music, 
podcast, trying to have conversation with native speakers, um, speak to yourself in front of the mirror while you are showering, taking a shower, or when you are alone, like in your room, you know, relax, you can like think about things in English and tell them out loud. Yeah, those kind of craziness. I, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I did actually, I've been doing, you know, um, all the time. Uh -huh. So, yeah, kind of helps me to memorize the things and uh, stimulate me to create, I mean, not create, to search for new words mm -hmm. when I uh, get myself like confused about how to say you know, what I'm thinking in English. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like create your own word inside your mind and go for it. Like never stop um, you know, talking, creating things, get totally immersed in the language. Uh, awesome, man. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yes. Immerse in the language is, is the, is the key, I think. <laughs> uh, it's really yes. good. Immersion. Yeah. Immersion. It's yes. like, for example, when you go to the gym, again, gym. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love going to the gym. <laughs> that's why I'm talking about that. <laughs> okay. But no, you're going to understand what I'm talking about gym. Like, when you go to the gym for the first time, imagine that you never, never, never attended a gym before and you want to grow muscle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning of your journey at the gym, <clears throat> you're not going to feel like super motivated to keep going because it's kind of boring, you know, like to lift weight and stuff, like doing cardio. But to have a goal, if you have like this idea of get a good shape or even like be healthy, that's the most important thing. <clears throat> you're gonna do, you're gonna practice every day, and slowly you are gonna feel like, oh my gosh, I am doing an amazing job here. I can I can see my progress mm. because you are you are creating this consistency. That's the same with English, like you can, you, you, you should create this consistency and try to simulate your brain to, uh, uh, like force you to think or to see the world in English. Mm, yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Man, that is hard. For me, it's hard to go to the gym. <laughs> I really don't like it. <laughs> no, I just, I just use it as an example. Like, it's hard. You know, hard. Yes, yes. Like, like a comparison. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but uh, I think it's, the, it's a question about mindset. You know, if you go to the gym, it's easier to do other things like study or it's good for your mind, you know, I think. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. In addition to that, I mentioned before about escape from reality. Like, I feel mm. like English sometimes is my escape from reality. Like, when I'm like too preoccupied about stuff related to my personal life, working, and whatever, uh, I feel like I need a moment, to, like, so instead of watching, I mean, it is good to watch things on TV you know, YouTube and stuff, but I prefer to study English, like, or to, to try to talk to people, uh -huh. you know, my native, native English speakers, friends, or whatever, you know, that's, uh, that's how, that's how I feel like about speaking English. It's definitely one of my escape from reality. Man, that's really interesting, man. That's something that I thought before. Because, you know, we, we need that time to escape from reality, I think. We all, everyone needs the, this time. Yes. But if you have a good habits like yours, like study English or go to the gym, 
there are better ways to escape from reality because we can just escape from reality on Instagram, you know, oh, I want to escape yeah. from reality and spend mm -hmm. three hours on Instagram. Oh, I can uh, smoke. Oh, I will smoke because I feel good after I smoke. But there are habits that are better, you know, and uh, that's good because you have habits that uh, you... It's good. It's a good habit, right? For your life, for your health. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good, man. And uh, I try... I, I do calisthenics, you know. I like to do some push-ups. Oh, and pull -ups. yeah. I will show you I, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm just started, you know, but I can, I can do some push pull-ups. <laughs> and and uh, man, I realized that you have uh, a lot of confidence when you talk in English and confidence is essential because you can have a yes. lot of vocabulary, you can make your sentence, but if you don't have uh, confidence, it's, it's not enough, you know, I think. And that, that's something that I realized, you are confident. But a question for you is... You are confident because you are advanced student, or even if you when when you was you were a a beginner, you have you had this confidence too, or no? It's something that you no 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 no. It's I mean, well, it's part of my nature, you know, mm -hmm. like to be a people person. Uh, when you like, when you like in interacting with people. You kind of develop this sense of confidence, you know, you feel more um, like able to talk whatever you want, you know, mm -hmm. um, regardless of your knowledge about the this topic. But definitely when I was a beginner, my, uh, my, my confidence was not that huge you know, uh, because of course, I want to be expressive, I want to express my thoughts, and I couldn't, because this limitation in my vocabulary. But it was like simultaneously, when I started gaining more vocabulary, my, you know, how, how can I put that? My confidence that was a little bit hiding, mm -hmm. started like emerging coming out and I could like have the boost of the, I mean, I could be myself, like uh, the same guy that I'm Portuguese, I could be in English. So yeah, of course, like the level of your English can, you know, like um, block you a little bit, but if you wanna really talk to people if you wanna really be yourself, you have to uh, try hard, like because people, the 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 people that you are eventually talking to, they'll be like patient and they'll try understand you. Like, okay, this guy is trying to speak a foreigner language, which is totally complicated, difficult. So, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll give it him a go and I'll let him speak. I'll help him mm. and yes, but it's not easy. <laughs> no, no, it's not easy, man. But I think it's, uh, it's, as you say, you know, because your personality is, is a confident person, you know, you're a people person. So one day you will have this confidence, I think, <laughs> if you are confident in Portuguese, you know. <laughs> exactly, man. So, guys, that was Joe Wilson. Joe Wilson, it was really nice to meet you, man. It was a pleasure to have you here on my channel. Can you send a message for the students? You can say everything now. <laughs> everything that you want. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you, Paulo, uh, for again inviting, inviting me to participate here on your channel. I mean, uh, you've been doing an amazing job like sharing your experience on family to brazilians or like to people from all over the world that's amazing hopefully in two three four years you'll look those videos like you look back to those videos and you feel like oh my gosh <laughs> that was an amazing start like look at me right now i am amazing so. <laughs> yes. yeah.
yet. And uh, for those who wanna speak English with confidence and with the necessary fluent and stuff, study, man. Hit the books, expose yourself to the language, try to make friends. That's pretty much it. Internet is here to help us to travel the world even without leaving our house. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, man. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. <laughs> And bye.